let us look at one program that I have found useful for ripping CDs. This is CDEX, C D E X. It is an open source program. If you go to their website, here's the address up top cdexos.sourceforge.net you can, they have over 32 million downloads it's a pretty nice system it's open source and no frills there's little in the way of support there's little in the way of documentation but there's a lot in the way of commitment by the programmers to attempt bringing to folks a excellent program. As you can see it is open source which means everybody pitches in to help and they're looking for programmers, folks to write the missing documentation. If you want to jump in and help out I'm sure they'd be most happy. At the moment we're talking about ripping CDs so let's take a look at that. Here we have the CDEX. I have version 1.70 beta. I have a CD, music CD, in my drive. This CD was created by a friend. It doesn't have all of the official artist and album name uh, entries in the data fields. So when you first pull up a CD, something that you'll need to do is enter that information into these fields. The artist in this case is EJ Gold and the album is Blue Smoke. Now the program is actually a little uh, tricky in that it's quite obvious but you just have to know where to look. In this case if you want to rip these tracks all you need to do is look over on the side and you'll see some uh, options. Here we have extract CD tracks to WAV files, extract CD tracks to compressed audio files, um, extract a section of the CD to WAV so you can ex extract just a part of it. Let's um, select the uh, to compressed audio format, but it doesn't say what the compressed audio format is. It's necessary to configure this bottom button on the bottom. It's necessary to configure your system before you proceed with an extraction. Now here, there are a lot of tabs with a lot of information on them. Um, temporary directory, you can probably work with whatever default is presented here. ID3 tag version, I just left it alone. I didn't change it. I left all of these buttons alone. If you're an audiophile and really know how to tweak music, this is an amazing program for extracting the most. File names. I like artist track and track number as the, excuse me, artist title and then track number as the format. I don't recall if this was the default or if I had to enter this. If you need to enter it, this gives you a cheat so you can see what the uh, proper entry codes are. Down here you select where to put tracks and that's just from a little browse button. Um, the rest of it I would just tend to ignore. CD drive, you have a lot of options you can set. Once again you can more or less ignore this. Um, unless perhaps you have to set the drive 
to begin with. When you go to encoder, this is something you may need to modify. I like the lame MP3 encoder. Please don't be misled by the name. Lame is a very excellent open source uh, MP3 encoder. So once you've selected Lame MP3, as opposed to all of these other multitude of options, click the OK button. And now, in order to rip your CD, all you do is click this, this button over here. Let me drag this over little more extract CD tracks to compressed audio files alright so if we click the go button it starts doing its thing when it's done this box will disappear and you will have your music tracks available for use on your computer if you forget where they are, just go into the configuration and look up which file folders you extracted to. Alright, good luck.